Hey, welcome back, you beasts, to a new video here on the channel. How are you all doing? Hopefully, you're doing fantastic as always. We're back on the How to Tame series. We got a new one for you today. And right in front of us over there, right over my right shoulder, we have the today's specimen, which is the Gigantopophagus. This guy is the monkey of all trades. Yes, I said it. The monkey of all trades. That, yeah. That makes no sense, does it? <laughs> so today, as always, in the How to Tame series, I'm going to be showing you how to tame this guy, what it's all its abilities are, and what foods to give it. So uh, let's get into it. The Gigantopophagus. Uh, you will find these mainly in forest biomes and redwoods, so uh, keep that in mind if for you people out there. Redwoods and forest biomes. This guy is a passively tamed creature, so you have to feed it berries or kibble uh, passively by going behind it, so no knockouts. But just so you know, if you touch this guy, or if you get too close, he will aggro on you and beat the crap out of you. So please stay away from this guy if you can. Oh, nice, nice texture glitch there, bro. So, first of all, let's get into how you're going to do this. Now, the best way to do this when they're in the forest is really you could do it without actually holding anything. You put the item in your last inventory slot. And you just sort of crouch behind them. When you get close enough, you press E or you press your last uh, tame button. So it's zero for me. Um, and it will feed them and then they'll walk off. Now, if you do get too close, I'll just show you right now. If you touch them or get too close, they just aggro. And I'm in creative mode, so it's not going to hurt. But they go crazy. So I'm just going to let that guy cool down for a second. If you're taming them and they aggro on you, you'll lose taming effectiveness. And you may also lose some progression. So keep that in mind. You want to keep a distance. So this guy is now calmed down. Because uh, it de-aggroed. What you can do, though, to increase your chances of not being caught is put some ghillie suit on. Ghillie suits are an awesome way to try and keep yourself um, a little bit cam more, more camouflaged. And the way that it works is that you will get less chance of being noticed or to aggro them. Now, you can do it without this, so this isn't a requirement. This is just to give you a little added sneakiness. Okay, so let's get into it. What can you feed this guy? There's only three things, really. You can give it regular kibble, medjo berry, or normal berries. Now, medjo berry, passive tames with the medjo berry takes such a long time. I would recommend doing kibble, but obviously, if you don't have regular kibble, use the medjo berries. So what we're going to do is we're going to just run after this guy and make sure you're behind it at all times. And as you get a little bit closer, you can either crouch or you can just stay stood as long as you don't touch it. So as you can see, feed regular kibble. And on my rates, that is a 100% tame. But for you guys, it may take about 5 to 8 to get this guy. So now you tamed him as your friend. Look, he's like, please be my friend. You are my friend. Okay. You ride on this guy's back. Check it out. How awesome is this? Um, and it's great for jumping. So let's get into a few of this guy's abilities and what it can do. Okay, so what the Gigantopophagus can do, you can ride on its back and it acts as like a man that can walk you around. It's basically like a big human that's a lot faster and stronger. Uh, but you can put a helmet on this guy for extra protection. So, for example, if we took this little miner hat on him. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Look at your, your little miner hat. And now he's got a nice little miner hat on. Uh, just another quick thing that you can do. You can actually pick up shoulder pets. Now, these shoulder pets are a range of... Uh, like basically all the small creatures. Combis, dodos, glow tails, you know, jaboas. Your normal uh, creatures. So if you just go up to as close as you can and press C on the keyboard. Oh my god, that didn't work. Let me get a little bit closer. You press C when you're close enough. There we go. Put him on the shoulder. And now look at you. You got like a nice little <laughs> dodo on your pet. So this guy can hold you and a shoulder mount on it at the same time. Um, and then you can throw it like normal. So if we double press C now and chuck it. It's like, bye bye dodo. You have fun. <laughs> Which is really cool. What this guy can also do. He can chuck you. So, for example, if you're trying to raid a base or you've got a hill that you can't get up, um, I'm in crazy mode, so this won't matter. Make sure you have a wingsuit, like a glide suit or a parachute. If you right-click on the con on your keyboard, you get these little crosshairs, and that is for chucking. So, if I do this, whoop, <laughs> and it just chucks us so far, and if it's following or run after you. Now, obviously, you're going to take huge fall damage if you do this. Uh, without a parachute or something, but I'm in creative mode, so that's fine. So, uh, the idea of that is that it will get your high services, or if you're like, you're entering, you're raiding a base, an enemy base, and you want to get over that, you want to get over the fence, but, you know, you want to go over that wall, but you, you just, you don't want to break it down, so it chucks you over. Now, obviously, the issue is that you're not going to have this guy with you when you get over there. So, um, I mean, it's a little bit fun. Um, it's more for fun than anything, chucking yourself at people. Uh, I think it's really fun anyway. So, stats-wise, this guy is a tank. Health on this guy, this is a max level on 150, so that's official rates. Max max health for this at the moment is 3,000. You can obviously vary that depending on what stats you get. But it is a bit of a tank. This guy has a ton of health for the size. 
Stamina is really good. Weight is pretty decent. 360 is not that bad. And obviously, it's a melee machine. So this guy has a good um, AoE. So he can deal damage at quite a wide, a wide radius. For example, let's go and find a guy over here. There's a dodo over here that we can hit. Um, so let's go through attacks. Obviously, you want... Well, it's got the left click attack, sorry. So you do that, you see that radius. When you get close enough, you'll hit the ground. It's got a good radius. You'll hit quite a few things around you, which is great. Um, it will jump, as you can see. It's really good for climbing mountains and stuff because the jumping on this guy. And the speed is really decent. That's the same for caves. Um, they are quite tanky, so you can take a few hits. And you can just literally run through a cave. Especially if you keep mounting up the movement speed on this guy. You'll just fly through a cave. Nothing will be able to catch. This guy does also a bunch of damage towards... Uh, people that have armor it's like the alpha plura you can destroy armor really quick with this guy so um if you're attacking people head on obviously you've survival of the fittest this guy is great and um, when they bring that mod out eventually it also gathers stuff so if you left click you get a lot of thatch as you can see you also get uh, quite a bunch of berries uh, but you also got a c move so the c move that you pick up the dodo with if you buy a bush and press c it will actually grab a ton of fiber and obviously, you can do it to trees as well. It's not just bushes. You get more thatch um, from trees, though. But if you do it to bushes, you get fiber, which is really cool. So it's like a little fiber gatherer. Really useful, because you could use this as a main mount to get around, like, early game. Because you can tame these whenever. There's not really a cap on it. As soon as you can see one, you've got medjo berries, tame it. And it's quite good at getting resources. As you can see, we've got a few hundred. Uh, we've got 200 of the wood and thatch we've got quite a bit but there's a ton of berries and stuff there um but yeah guys that's been the episode this is the gigantopophagus and it is awesome you need to tame yourself one of these if you haven't already just look at it Woo! we're gonna go fly now okay have a fantastic day guys and um i'll see you next time peace